Niger is fuming over what Benin just did. Benin and Niger have a long-standing history of political, economic, and cultural exchanges. Their bilateral relations have been shaped by various factors such as security concerns, regional integration initiatives, and economic cooperation. Recently, tensions between the two West African countries have escalated, particularly over border disputes and trade issues. In today's video, we will explore a significant development. The military leaders of Niger have escalated the border, spat with Benin, leading to the blocking of Chinese oil exports. We'll delve into the reasons behind this conflict, its consequences, and other factors contributing to the rising tension between these nations in recent months. Additionally, we will discuss the recent directive for U.S. troops to leave Niger. Before we continue, please like this video and subscribe to the channel to stay updated on related topics. In the latest events, Ali Mahaman Lamin Zain, the Prime Minister of Niger, stated that trade agreements with Niger's Chinese partners were disrupted due to Benin's embargo on oil shipments. This statement further intensified the conflict, with Zaina citing security concerns as the reason for not fully reopening Niger's border with Benin. In retaliation, Benin declared that it would only relent if Niger reopened its borders for Beninese goods and restored diplomatic ties. This blockade jeopardizes Niger's $400 million deal to begin selling crude oil to China. The escalating tension between Niger and Benin over border and trade issues highlights the complex and often volatile nature of international relations in the region. Benin's capital port is crucially linked to Niger's Agadem oil field through a 2,000 kilometers Chinese-built pipeline. However, Niger's Prime Minister Ali Mahaman Lamin Zaina highlighted that the blockade by Benin violated around a dozen accords signed by Niger, Benin, and the Chinese company PetroChina. One of these oil export agreements explicitly stated that Benin could not unilaterally modify or limit the agreements without the consent of the other parties. This means Benin agreed not to take any action that would halt the flow of Niger's crude oil to the international market. Relations between the two nations have been strained since the coup in Niger in July 2023, which led to the imposition of harsh sanctions by the West African regional body, ECOWAS, for over six months. These sanctions included strict measures imposed by Benin and ECOWAS, such as border closures, to pressure the military junta to return power to the elected government. In December, under ECOWAS provisions, the Beninese president announced the lifting of the suspension on imports of goods transiting to Niger via the autonomous port of Cotonou. Although there was a slight easing of tensions in February, Niger has still refused to allow products from Benin to cross its land border. This blockade has significant economic implications. Benin was expected to collect transit duties and tax revenues proportional to the volume of Nigerian oil transported through its port. The ongoing tension and the blockade jeopardize this potential revenue, highlighting the broader economic impact of the political strife. Niger's decision to block Chinese oil exports through Benin as a response to the embargo exacerbates the conflict. The $400 million agreement to begin selling crude oil to China is now in jeopardy, further straining relations between the two countries. This situation underscores the complexities of international agreements and the far-reaching consequences of regional political instability. The blockade not only disrupts economic activities, but also reflects the deep-seated geopolitical tensions in West Africa. Amidst strained diplomatic relations, the critical infrastructure linking the Agadem oil fields to international markets is under threat. This infrastructure includes a 1,980 kilometers pipeline, part of a larger 2,000 kilometers Chinese-built pipeline that extends through Benin. According to a 2019 National Petroleum Plan, Niger was poised to become a major regional oil producer with the completion of this pipeline, which connects Kolelin Niger to the port of Seme in Benin. The plan projected a significant increase in production to 110,000 barrels daily. However, the optimism surrounding this project was dampened following the military coup that overthrew President Mohamed Bazoum in July of the previous year. The current dispute is jeopardizing this project and straining relations between Niger and Benin, which were previously close trade partners. Benin stands to lose approximately $7 million daily in oil transit fees that Niger would have paid. Before the coup, most of Niger's imports and exports passed through Benin, but they are now rerouted through Togo. Prime Minister Ali Mahamene Lamin Zaini of Niger has stated that Niger will not comply with Benin's request to fully reopen its border.
leaving the future of their economic ties uncertain. In the midst of these tensions, Niger's military leaders are negotiating a deal with the United States to withdraw most of the fewer than 1,000 U.S. troops stationed in the country. Although a broad withdrawal order has been issued, the logistics of the pullout are still being discussed. A U.S. delegation was expected to travel to Niger over the weekend to finalize these plans, including securing agreements for U.S. military flights into and out of Niger. Since the coup, foreign militaries have had to individually request permission to fly over Niger, complicating international military operations. A U.S. military official mentioned that the withdrawal would occur gradually over several months. This process involves dismantling non-essential equipment and preparing it for export. As the footprint of the U.S. military presence in Niger decreases, employees and equipment deemed non-essential will be relocated. Despite hopes that a small contingent of U.S. troops might remain, the Nigerian government has been clear in its desire for all U.S. forces to leave. This situation in Niger is part of a broader trend of instability in Africa, where a series of military takeovers have undermined U.S. influence and provided opportunities for Russia to expand its presence. Although the U.S. military presence in Africa is minimal and primarily focused on counterterrorism operations, the recent events in Niger highlight the increasing volatility on the continent. The completion of the pipeline and the potential economic benefits it could bring are now uncertain due to the political and diplomatic rift between Niger and Benin. This instability not only threatens the economic future of both countries, but also reflects the larger geopolitical struggles affecting the region. The outcome of these negotiations and the broader implications for regional stability remain to be seen, with significant consequences for international relations and economic development in West Africa. Authorities perceive Africa as a critical theater in the ongoing global power struggle between Russia and the United States. Recent events have underscored this competition, with Niger terminating its military agreement with the U.S., coinciding with the deployment of Russian troops near American forces at Niamey's Air Base 101. A senior U.S. defense official highlighted that Russian personnel now operate from a separate hangar, minimizing direct interaction with their American counterparts. This juxtaposition at the base underscores the escalating rivalry between the U.S. and Russia, particularly amidst the backdrop of heightened tensions surrounding the Ukraine conflict. Russia has been actively cultivating its ties across Africa, positioning itself as a non-colonial alternative and a dependable partner. Mali, in particular, has emerged as a significant ally through the presence of Russian Wagner Group mercenaries engaged in counterinsurgency operations against jihadist factions. Meanwhile, strained U.S.-Russian relations persist due to U.S. support for Ukraine, viewed by Russia as unwarranted interference in its internal affairs. The U.S. faces mounting challenges to its influence in Africa, evident in Niger's expulsion of U.S. military personnel and Chad's contemplation of revoking their status of forces agreement. These developments cast doubts on the sustainability of U.S. security arrangements and its broader regional influence. Despite its robust military capabilities, the U.S. finds itself in competition with Russia, which offers less restrictive security assistance to African nations, including the provision of weaponry, potentially reshaping regional dynamics in Russia's favor. The implications extend beyond Africa, potentially impacting U.S. access to strategic regions such as the Mediterranean, vital for its military operations. Meanwhile, Niger grapples with internal instability, exacerbated by Benin's blockade of its oil exports. This economic turmoil poses a significant threat to Niger's oil-dependent economy and strains bilateral relations between the countries involved. Resolving these issues will require diplomatic efforts aimed at restoring mutual cooperation and ensuring economic stability in the region. The international community must vigilantly monitor the situation and advocate for a peaceful resolution. The disruption of commercial agreements undermines established trade frameworks and sets a concerning precedent. International involvement is crucial in resolving this conflict, ensuring regional stability and prosperity by urging both parties to be accountable and fostering communication. Long-term economic diversification and reducing dependence on single commodities alongside enhancing trade relations with other nations are pivotal objectives for Benin and Niger. These efforts support sustainable development and economic resilience, mitigating the impact of trade disputes. Dialogue between the two nations is imperative, 
necessitating swift decisions that prioritize equitable trade and collaboration. Such measures not only foster prosperity, stability, and economic growth domestically, but also regionally. However, Benin's decision to prevent its landlocked neighbor from using its port for exporting crude oil may escalate tensions between the two countries. This action could lead to a heightened conflict if not resolved diplomatically and through dialogue. It is essential for both parties to seek peaceful resolutions and avoid actions that could exacerbate the situation. Your thoughts on these developments are welcome in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our new channel for more insightful videos. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next update.